So in today's video, we're taking a look at the Dell Optiplex 3020 SFF um, small form factor desktop. It has an i5-4590 in it. Here, we can take a look at the specs up here. So an i5-4590, four cores, four threads, four gigs of RAM, 250 gigabyte hard drive. And we got this with Windows 10 Home installed for only $65. So I'm gonna take this, add a graphics card, see what kind of gaming performance we get. But first things first is I'm gonna take it apart, um, show you guys the inside of the system, and then replace the hard disk with an SSD. So I have a 500 gigabyte, so 480 gig Kingston SSD, and I got for 50 bucks on Amazon. We're gonna throw that in there and increase the performance right away. So here we have the inside of the Dell Optiplex. We have a very simple uh, cooler, one fan on the cooler, one fan at the front for the power supply, 250 watt power supply. We have our, let's see, our DVD drive just pulls out. And then all I have to do is pull out the power connector and the SATA connector. Just pull this out first, make it a little easier. I'll probably just fold it back actually. Then here we have our hard drive. All you have to do is reach down here, push this over to unlock it. And then this just pushes right up, but we first have to disconnect our SATA, SATA power. So pull this up, pulls right out, and there's our hard drive. So I'm gonna take our Kingston, get it installed, reinstall Windows. So here we go guys, got the Kingston SSD in there. Just gonna put back the DVD drive into place. There we go. And right now I just have a like GeForce 8400 in here. It's like a $10 graphics card, single slot. Um, that way we can just get HDMI out. And then I have my Windows boot drive in there. So we'll get Windows 10 installed, get everything set up. And here we have the remnants of our Dell Optiplex 3020. So we had to drill out the rivets in the front as well as some of the rivets in the back. Besides that, everything everything was pretty easy just some metal snips just to take this thing apart get the motherboard tray out um and then get that installed in the xbox so i mean this pretty much sacrificed itself pretty well to turn our original xbox into a xbox gaming pc so now that we have windows installed we have our new ssd um we have windows 10 fully updated everything's good to go now what we're gonna do is actually take that Dell Optiplex 3020, remove all the components, and try and cram them in an original Xbox case. So now that we have the original Xbox torn down, I've already removed a lot of the actual casing and a lot of the interior plastic. So here is our top shell. Here is our bottom shell. So we sort of, that's all that's left of the back shroud. It's pretty hard. This plastic's pretty brittle, so it's difficult to not snap it. Um, so that did happen in a couple of places, but nothing too bad there. So here we have our Dell power supply. So the way this sits in here, it should sit in just like so. So it actually fits really well in between some of these plastic grooves inside of the Xbox. So that'll sit right in here, nice and snug. And then our motherboard, which I already removed, cut out the motherboard backplate from inside the Optiplex. So this is just going to sit inside of here. Being careful to avoid um, some of the standoffs inside of the Xbox. Let me get this situated. And there we go. So there is our back of our Xbox. And now when we throw, I'm just gonna throw these wires in here just to keep everything inside. 
Um, we have our GTX 1050 in here. Um, I removed the heat shield off of, or just the, the cover off of the Gigabyte GTX 1050, um, just so we had a little bit extra clearance. So now when we go to install our bottom piece of our Xbox, should fit in rather snug. There we go. So that is now on. So here is the back. I'm gonna fill this in with some 3D printed pieces. Um, this is what it looks like here. Top. So we're meeting very nicely. Once we install our screws, everything should be good there. And then we have the front of our Xbox which should slide in the front pretty easily. Snap in on both sides. And there we go. So there's the front. Again, a 3D printed piece just to cover up sort of the motherboard bracket, but still leave part of the fan for the power supply exposed. Another 3D printed piece here just to clean this up a little bit. So the only other thing we're gonna do is figure out how to implement the Dell power button with the original Xbox power button. Besides that, we're good to go. But yeah, so now we just have to figure out how to actually mount the motherboard bracket in, or the motherboard tray inside of the Xbox because it will be sitting on the top of the Xbox. So we have to make sure it doesn't fall. We also have very little fan clearance between the CPU cooler and the top of the case. So we just have to make sure our fan's clear. And then from the side, you can see the GTX 1050 cooler or fan. So yeah, this is part one. So we have everything installed um, preliminarily. Now it's just time to actually get everything up and running, get a hard drive, get the hard drive back in there, and then 3D print some components just to clean this guy up.